Live. What's going on, everybody? Adam with Hill Vending here in the warehouse. We are stocked up and ready to go. Only palette of uh, Gatorade we could get in right there. Only flavor. Where is it? There it is. Hope everybody's doing well. Ginger ale came in. Today's video, what I'm going to go over, what I'm going to talk about is this machine right here. This is a Dixie Narco 276E, okay? It's basically the little brother to the Dixie Narco 501E. So this one, selections right here. Let me see if I can set this up and show you here. There we go. So it's a little bit smaller. This machine's a little bit smaller, actually a lot smaller than the Dixie Narco 501E, but it's basically same, uh, everything's compatible on it. But as you can see, one, two, three, seven selections. So a little less on the selections. This machine was at a location, get out of the sun there. This was, machine was at a location that was, um, it was selling out of the items too fast. And we had to put this smaller machine because it was the only area where we could put uh, the vending machine. They wouldn't let us put a bigger vending machine. Ended up they have a different area now um, or a bigger area uh, where we can put it. So we put a Vendo 621, Vendo 621. Actually the area is similar, but we made the same area work with a bigger machine. So it's, 621 which can hold basically almost double the capacity of cans in this so that it doesn't run out as soon the problem we're having is it's a little bit out of our way and it was running out of uh drinks quick so we were having to make a special trip there so hopefully now with a bigger machine it'll last longer and it'll be scheduled right so how much does that sell for any guesses Drop them in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Check the uh, live chat. It's coming down that way. Whoop. This machine was sold, sold it to a guy. So pulled it off location yesterday. And the thing is, I don't want to sit on this. I have to pull other machines and equipments, equipment out. So I need the space. So I sold it uh, with Bill and Coin for $750, $750. So I'm going to actually, uh, this is a, a fellow vendor in the area. So what I'm gonna do is actually load it up on the truck and take it to him, um, delivered for $750. Um, the reason why is I don't want to uh, post it and spend a lot of time dealing with people coming by, looking at it, interested, not interested, I want to get it listed and get it to go. This is an example of the machine that was put in there, a Vendo 621. As you can see that, it was not a live display, but it was um, a similar, same machine, just not live display. So, got that machine installed, and now, hopefully that will last, uh, last them a while. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you guys how I load this up, okay? Because I think I had a question, which I'll come make another video this week, do another live stream, start doing more live streams to answer more questions. I've been really busy. Um, but this machine right here um, is, on, is on, let's see right here. Show you how it is, put this little stand. See how it's on blocks right there? So the reason I do that is so that I can move it with a pallet jack, move it with a pallet jack and move it easier. But when I want to actually move the machine onto the truck, what I'm going to do is load it onto these piano dollies right here. There's two of these that strap on there. So I'm going to put those on there. For some reason, my live chat is upside down. Um, so I'm not getting that through, but so now, I'm gonna show you guys what, uh, how I do this. So it's a 276E. I'm gonna set this right here. 
See if you guys can see that. Turn that up a little bit. So as you can see, it's on this wood right here. So let's see. Let's see if we can get it. The first thing, make sure the door is closed. Screw it in there. Now we're gonna push it up. We want it come down. The door actually. This door's having trouble closing. So what we're gonna do right here, block it in place real quick, see if that'll work. Uh oh! Houston, we got a problem. right here wants to play games because the door didn't close. Let's see if we can see right there. Hmm. So the little screw is now not aligning. So what we'll do is we'll do the other side first. Push this back up. This is a good example. This is a good example right here. So see this door is not shutting, right? So you got to see why this little nut right here is not aligning with this right here, little T-handle. So sometimes it's simple, sometimes it's not. When I was installing the 621, the pan was hitting the column when it was turning. So the last column wasn't working. These are things in the vending business that you're going to have. So, I'm going to make sure there's a nut lined up. Let's see if we can get this screwed in here. Somewhere it's not hitting. There's something in the T-handle. We're going to leave that right there for right now. I'm going to come over here to the back first, as long as that holds. If not, you're going to see some crazy stuff on YouTube right here. We're doing it live. No retakes. This is live. Push the machine up, pull it out with your block. So uh, let's see, now you can see how it's tilted. Tilted on the ground, then I'm gonna do the same side. Now, it's off the blocks. Move it with these piano dollies on each side. So, put a piano dolly on each side, strap it up, put it on this lift gate here, and beam it up. What's up, everybody? Let's see if we got any comments here. Joseph in the house. How's it going? Try to get that sun fade. I think it's probably something to do with the 
nut in here. So the T-handle needs to be reassembled. The T-handle inside the spring came loose, so that's the issue right here. It's not connecting. Can I give it enough? No. Oh. So let's take it apart. The spring went through. So we'll show that live. T-handle, spring, let me get that in there so y'all can see this. So this is it right here, it needs to be taken apart. So I'm going to show you how we take this apart. Put back. Little tool kit here. You can see this. One clip. A washer. Spring. Now this will pull out the front here. It should be. Actually, not sure why that uh, the spring has got the wrong spring. Should be bigger. This um, I'm gonna put this back in here and see. Should clip. Should clip. I think that should be on there. See this sloppiness going on here. So normally you don't uh, have to mess with these T handles a lot, but this should this should not be like that. Should not be like that, guys. Put the spring over it. So let's leave that in there. So now I took it all completely apart. This fell out. So now look at this. Now you got these pieces, right? So I believe the only way it's gonna be a complete, complete breakdown. So to take this lock out, let me get my key. Push this in.
See, this has a little notch that goes in it that holds that in place. Now that's how that's in place right there. Let's see. This is why, this is why hill vending is not work on machines. We like to make money. We make a bunch of money through machines. Uh oh, that went flying, guys. We got pieces everywhere. Okay, had to clip back. Put your little piece in. Slide it down in. I think the spring went over the clip, so that's what I'm gonna try and do right now. Put this back on there. Put this on there. The washer on there. Okay, now let's feed that back through. And see! that in there. Now let's see, let's put this. So we got these three pieces left. So we're gonna put the spring back on there. We're gonna put the washer back on to hold it. And we're gonna put our clip tricky because you got to push the spring there you go so now we put the spring back on okay and the spring on the inside so we're gonna see that's right so now let's try and close this door again See, I think the spring has to go. There's too much play right there. Too much playing. Too much playing. Reaching, or it's not threaded right. Hill vending service mode. So we gotta have tension on that, on that lock. See how it's not locking? It's just. Sloppy. Let me take it back out. 
Take it back out to the street. Went into the coin rack. So, uh oh, I lost a piece. What's up, guys? Adam Hill Venning. Hope you're having a great day. This is what we're doing today. I'm trying to find pieces that go flying. So what I would have to do is look up, because I don't rebuild two handle locks every day. Look up online the assembly. There it is. The assembly. Which I don't think that even goes in there. Makes sense, but we're gonna try it. We're going to try it now. That gives us that. I think we're on to something good. Try this out now. Make sure that's pulled out. Too much play. Too much play. There you go. There we go. So now that's tight. I don't have the lock in there, but how long did that take? How long did that take? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to now get this handle. Once I put this lock in there, it'll lock. Now the door closed. So see that? I haven't had to, uh, let me get my thing going straight here. I haven't had to do that in a while, but pull the T-handle out and the springs and know which spring goes where in the clips. But that's something that if your machine's not locking at your location, that's gonna be a problem. Because if your machine, if you cannot close the door, what are you gonna leave your machine? People can break into it. People can get the money. The refrigeration can freeze up. So um, now we're good. Now the door shuts and uh, you just got to tinker around with it a little bit. If you're not a tinkerer, which I'm not, I don't enjoy fixing machines. I don't enjoy moving machines, any of that stuff, guys, but that's part of it. Or you have to have somebody on your team that's good at it that can do that um, so that you can be, uh, operational. So let me see here. Appreciate everyone watching and hopping on. Um, there you go. So now let's load this bad boy up. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing, the whole thing. This is the real vending business. There's no edits, no cuts. Okay. 
this is the real deal right here. So, because I'm selling the machine for $750, I took the, um, the lock out because that's my lock and my key. And I don't want anyone else having my lock and my key because then they can get into other machines. So, this one's good. Doors finally good. Now, normally on a machine, you could just put the piano dollies on. Because of this lip right here, we have to add an extra little board. Because as you'll see, it's not fitting. It's not going to lift it. And I left it right here. This little board right here to make up the, uh, the the gap right here for these piano dollies. So I'll put that right here, right there. So that'll give me a little extra height because it's not gripping on the base of the machine. Come over here. Slide the other piano dolly in. Next, you need just the old-fashioned ratchet strap. Got these from uh, Sam's Club, a four-pack. Now, what you're going to do with these is you're going to wrap it all the way around the machine, and I'll strap it here in front so you can see. So. all the way around make sure it's underneath underneath the handle against the machine right here perfect perfect job Adam great job right down there and you're gonna hook it in here okay now pull your that's what you want to make sure make sure it's up on the machine Position it. Okay. Get your out of the way. Now watch this. Hold up on these handles. Push down on this sides up. Same thing over here. Now you have machine on four wheels that you can maneuver. Check this out. Pull it anywhere, swing it around, anywhere you want to go. Pretty cool right there. So those are called piano dollies. Next thing, I don't like this gimbal thing. Get it on that lift gate. Once it's on that lift gate, bring the lift gate up, strap it in. So normally, whenever you're moving machines, two people, you are want to have two people for sure. So this is not an instructional, instructional video on how to move a machine. Do not follow these instructions. Okay, but it's up four wheels. Now, we want to get it straight, so move the butt end over, it's up on there, it's a little bit tilted on the bad boy, so, I'm not sure what, let me decide that. So it shouldn't be leaning like that, so I'm going to uh, put a bigger board. Shouldn't be leaning. Should not be leaning like that. Did you see the lean that it had? If you saw the lean the machine had, let me know. Let me know in the comments. 
say lean. See, because it's not gripping the, all the other machines. Um, not a problem because it'll grab the side of it. So what I'm gonna do, let's grab another board. So got both sides down. Undo this real quick. Pull this out. This little board's not getting it done. try that. So see that board on there. Okay. Now I'm going to lift this up and slide it in. All right. Now you normally don't want to do that because it's resting on the door and there's issues if you're picking up the door. But I'm going to do it. Just tighten your strap back up. Now let's boost it up and see if we have a lean. Same thing, lift up on that side. See, that's looking good right there. It's looking real good right there. Now we're gonna get it onto this, onto this lift gate. I'm gonna drop it down, drop it down on that side. This is where you gotta have a little bit of, um, this is where two people would be nice. You know, two people would be nice. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Get it up on there. Drop these wheels. A little bit more. It's on the lift gate. Now, time to go up. So, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this for you guys here. This little contraption I have is not, uh, let me see what that. We had a chat, let me see. You should have one more strap in the top. Yeah, you could. You could, what's up, Tommy? Tommy Cash. And you wanna come in from the size of the machine so the legs are resting. Yeah, I know, that's why I put a board on there because my lift gate, if I did it on the sides, the lift gate's not wide enough. I need a wider lift gate to bring it in from the sides. So, this way is why I do it. I have a longer, longer platform there. But uh, let's see this bad boy go up. get it up there enough then I'm gonna pop up the front wheels and then I'll be able to pull it on so then you take a little water break you know so you don't get dehydrated or nothing
Now I'm gonna throw a strap on there to the front and it'll be good. Who wants to go out in that boat? Same straps. Because it's pinned up to the front, I just put one strap on it. Let's see. Tommy Cash. Don't walk behind, Tommy. I know. I know, Tommy. Everything's going to be okay, though. Everything ended well. Don't follow. Remember, I said this is not an instructional video. So you don't listen to... Uh, don't listen to that, guys. I'm a trained professional. Okay? Just be careful out there. So now, again, that's a 276E. Sold it for 750. I did forget one thing. When I get it there, I'll have to get the coins out of the coin mech. Forgot to empty them out. Hopefully there's some bills in there too. There's the lock I pulled out. So that is how down in Tampa Bay, Florida, had to load up that machine with a lift gate. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Do not recommend new people doing this. I don't recommend myself doing it. But um, if you have to pay for help or a trailer, you can use different things. You don't have to use a, a lift gate like this. You can use the trailers that, that fold down. There's a lot of different ways to move machines. Probably the best way, pay a professional moving company to move your machines. So unfortunately they charge anywhere in this area, but what, $7,500 maybe per machine. And that's with what, 30 mile radius. So that's another thing about vending is the, the cost add up for the moving machines. That T handle right there, hadn't had to, uh, do a t-handle in a couple years so takes 20 minutes are you able to think through what's going on here why is the spring and get the machine door to close especially when you're on location all right we got it loaded up here i'm gonna head it out make sure we get the cash in the hand hope you guys have a great day and remember oh here's tommy our mover is like 60 years old getting afraid to even call him anymore yeah yeah it can be spooky, guys, moving these machines. Um, but um, it is what it is. You gotta gonna have to move your vending machines at some point. Whether even if you have the account, they're gonna want to clean under the floor. They're gonna gonna want to maybe move to a new location in the in the building. So um, remember that. All right, guys. Until next time. Remember, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. Have a great.